last question says a baseball is hit so that it travels straight upward after being struck by the bat. A fan observes that it takes 2.9 seconds for the ball to reach its maximum height. Find the ball's initial velocity and find the height it reaches. All right, the information we are given, we know that um, the, the change in time is 2.9 seconds. 2.9 seconds. We know that um, when it reaches its maximum height, its, its final velocity should equal zero for an instantaneous uh, moment. And we know that its acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so um, the way you can find out, the, the way you find out final velocity, so final velocity equals the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the time. So my initial velocity is unknown. My final velocity is zero. So zero equals something plus negative 9.8 times 2.9. So negative 9.8 times 2.9 is negative 28. So zero equals something plus negative 28.42. So um, negative 28.42, add it to both sides, and x equals 28.42, or x represented our initial velocity. So our initial velocity now we've gotten is uh, 28.42 meters per second. All right, so um, we want to know how... Uh, so that's the answer to the first part, the find the ball's initial velocity. Well, it was 28.42 meters per second. And then the second part was what height, how high did it go? So we can remember that our, our change in location, our displacement, is equal to um, our average velocity. So remember, our average velocity could be expressed as Vf plus Vi over 2 times our time. Change of location is our average velocity times our time. Our final velocity was 0. Our initial, 28.42. So, no, that's ugly. Uh, 28.42 plus 0 is 28.42. Divide that by 2. Times that by the time, which is 2.9. So times 2.9. And that should give you the displacement of, um, just a second, 28.42 over 2 times 2.9 of 41.21 meters. That's it.